I remember one incredible moment in the early discussions. Nick Hayek was sitting next to me and suddenly, after hearing about Solar Impulse Project, he looked at me and he said, I'm not absolutely sure that your project is feasible, but I am absolutely sure that I want to be with you to try and make it feasible. And this is pioneering spirit. What Solar Impulse is about, how I understood it from Mr. Boschbeck and Mr. Pika, is not just to find new technological solutions for the problems of that world. It's to communicate in a positive way with the consumer, to tell him, hey guys, we can do amazing things. We can feel adventure, passion in doing things that are very constructive for the world. I guess Omega has a lot of uh, values and a lot of uh, qualities which is extremely important for uh, our project. First of all, Omega is specialized in miniaturization, how to make things small, therefore light. And second, they also have the technologies to make devices with very low consumption power. I think the contribution of Omega was very important. The instrument developed by Omega helps the pilot a lot to control the bank angle of uh, the airplane. It is very important to stay within very strict limits in bank angle. If you go beyond about 10 to 15 degrees of bank angle, you're really in trouble. You may lose the airplane and have to jump out. There is a synergy here, but I'd like to underline that the biggest synergy is this common dream that we were both trying to do something for humanity, you know, to have a, you know, a role to play in this and people look down in 50 years time. Just like today, the moon landing that was mentioned before, it hasn't really brought that much to mankind in a way, but it's been an incredible dream. Everybody who's alive then or even not alive talks about this, something that's fantastic. And I think this solar impulse plane will have the same effect down the road.